Well, hi there and welcome to this tutorial for Fastlane Digital Audio School done in Montpellier, France, an Ableton Certified Training Center. A quick tutorial today to help you organize your plugins, organize your third party effects and synthesizers. Organizing these objects better will improve your workflow, it will speed up your workflow and also help you choose the right plugin for a specific task. So let's have a look at how this is done. You'll find your plugins under the plugin tab here in your browser in life so I've got two types of plugins because I'm, I'm on a Mac here and Macs you know have a specific format called audio units if you're on a PC you'll only find the BSTs so I do use more audio units these days I find them more stable on a Mac however I'm not sure this is true actually but VSTs are definitely more universal you can share them with everyone so it might be a better idea to use VSTs if you look inside my audio unit folder you'll find that my effects and synthesizer are all classified by brands and that's just not very convenient all right mostly if you look at for instance in universal audio there's hundreds of plugins here I can only use about 10 of them so I don't need to see all of that and more importantly it's just not easy to find anything when I'm creative I want to work fast I want to work uh, I want to have a flow right so when you look at my VST folder now you'll find that my VSTs are all classified by type of effects compressors with compressors uh, mixing effects with mixing effects synthesizers with synthesizers etc etc so how did I do that so I just on a Mac I'm gonna show you on a PC I'm gonna tell you on a PC in a second on a Mac I went to my HD my hard drive to my uh, it's in French here but it's my library audio and plugins here and you'll find a VST plugins a VST folder that's where you can create all these folders where you will uh, put your 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 third party effects and things um, so that's where live gets these folders from and it's just quick to do on a PC you'll find these uh, VSTs under the Steinberg folder I mean unless you've specified a, spe a specific folder for them uh, by default they'll be under the Steinberg um, folder so that's where you can create these extra folders to classify your effects basically so that's well and good it can be a good trick and I'm sure some of you knew that trick however I find these new collections here on the top left corner of my browser way easier to use look instead of uh, sticking these my, my samples or my uh, synths patch in there which I, I did at first I find in fact that using these collections to bring my effects into that is way more convenient so here I've got all the compressors I also have all the racks I use for compression I've got my EQs I've got some presets I use to write a, a quick idea down I've got some space effects for reverb delays etc I've got all the creative effects and, and racks I've got all my synths and the favorite synths I've got my performance effects all this is now easy access I can choose carefully and and and, and choose the right effect for the right EQing if I want to do a shelving if I want to do corrective EQ I know which one is better I can only see all the compasses and the EQs in there so I can easily choose what I want I'm not confused I don't waste time you see and I find these uh, collections great for that for instance you can also um, uh, have a, a specific effect on in different collections you see this ultra channel here this one here it does EQ it does compression it does delay so you'll find the same effects on all these different collections and I find this way easier to use now to, to bring a an effect into a collections it couldn't be simpler you just find the effect here in their uh, plugin tab and then when you've got it you just uh, grab it in drop it into the collection you want to put it into and that's how you find them back super easy super quick and I hope this will help your workflow see you soon on another tutorial bye